What's up everybody and welcome to my channel. This is our Boots Games and I'm going to be going over the new stuff that have been added in the newest Minecraft pre-release. This is pre-release 12W17A as you can see in the bottom left corner but I'm not going to call it that. I'm just going to call it the 1.2.6 pre-release just because it's easier to remember. Now, I know there has been another update, or another pre-release before this one, so I'm going to be going over a few stuff from that one. So first off, in the options, we have the language, which you can change in the game. I'm pretty sure that's new to this one, but don't correct me if I'm wrong. And the chat settings, these are used for, like, if you're on a server, so you can change the opacity all the way down to 10%, or you can turn... You can change the chat to be shown, obviously. Commands only, so I'm guessing you can... I don't know if you can see other people's commands or just yours. Or you can have it hidden. Some servers have colors, so you can... And their text, so you can turn that off. And the web links and the prompt on links, I don't know what those are, so... I really won't have to bother with those, because I don't go on too many servers. And... I'm sure this will be, you might see it right now, but I'm sure this will be changed by the next update. But the music and the sound, they have no percent by them. It's just the slider. Now this wouldn't be much of a problem if like, you always have it at 100%. But if you record, I have it very low, and if I have it very high, then it records very loud. So, first off, or second, you go to single player and create a new world and the game mode survival hardcore creative that's the same but if you go into more world options there still aren't any new world types besides super flat and default but now there's the cheats the cheats are like single player commands they're not as advanced as the single player commands but it has a lot of the basic stuff and it can help and the bonus chest it's a little hard to explain, but I guess it's not that hard, but so when you spawn, I'll try to find the bonus chest, yeah, it usually is next to you. I'm guessing this can give you a lot of random stuff, because last time I got a few cobblestone stuff, a few cobblestone tools, and I guess this is helpful if you're new to Minecraft, but I probably won't be using this. Now, the single player commands, you hit the text button or you can hit the slash and it automatically puts that there. Type in help and it shows all of the commands that you have. You can hit tab and scroll through them all, or you can just type it in. So right now, I'm going to change my game mode to uh, creative. And I'm in creative mode right now. I'm just going to get rid of my the crap in my inventory that I don't need. So one major thing that... Those dogs just killed that sheep. One major thing that has been added to uh, the creative mode. Like, this new feature was added in 1.2.5 where you could middle click on uh, certain objects and it'll give you that... It will give you that block. Here, I'll, I have it set up in a different world. I'll show it to you. After I change to creative. So if you middle click, it will give you that block. So, grass, dirt, or not dirt, sand. The usual, and it was a little glitchy before. If you middle clicked on grass, it would give you dirt. And now it gives you grass. Glowstone will give you glowstone dust, which is not helpful at all. And I don't know about redstone, but it gives you redstone now. And I don't know if this is meant to be in the game, but the half steps, if you have two on top of each other, you middle click that, it'll just give you a full, full double half slab. And the stone, this, this got like a little glitched out on the last one where if you middle click they would just give you cobblestone and that's fixed now so 
That makes me a little happier. Get rid of that crab and switch back to survival mode. So, in 1.2.5, different colored wood would give you different colored wooden planks. So, here's the normal wooden planks, then the darker wood from the from like the darker wood trees. The birch wood would give you like a whitish color and the jungle trees would would give you a reddish color. And now you can make half slabs with that certain colored wood and it will give you that kind that colored half slab. It never used to do that before. It just gave you just one color and that was it. So now I'm just making them all quick right now. And now you have all colored half slabs. And if you use half wooden half slabs earlier, you you know that the half slabs acted as a acted as a cobblestone. So you'd need a pickaxe to destroy it. I don't have an axe with me right now, so I can't show it. But now these act as wood the way they should. So you don't need uh you don't need a pickaxe to do that. I didn't go over all these single player commands, so I guess I'll go over a few of them now. The you can, the time, you can set the time today. I'm doing that right now because it's getting a little dark. Okay, that didn't do anything. But there's XP you can give yourself. You can give yourself up to 5,000 at a time. The, the kill kills yourself, obviously. And the toggle downfall makes it rain or makes it not rain let's try that again and okay I guess it doesn't rain here but yeah it usually works I'll turn that off what am I doing I think that's all of them okay so besides all the wooden updates the updates with the wood you can make books you know how to make books you used to make books with sugarcane and then you made paper then you put the paper like that but now there's no book now you have to add leather to your book there really isn't any like specific way you can you need to build a book so you just put three pieces of paper and one leather in your uh, in your crafting area and with the book, if you add an ink sack and a feather, it gives you a book and quill. What the book and quill does is like it's an editable book, so you can type you can type whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I and you can make multiple ones of these, obviously. So if you have a lot, you can easily get them mixed up. So what you do is well you right click to bring this thing up and you can add pages by going down here and typing some more to make it uneditable you sign it and you title it and note you will not be able to edit the book after you do this so you sign and close it and it has like the, the glowing effect like when you have an enchanted item you go over it and it says the title and who it was made by and now you can read it I can tell that this is going to come in handy a lot in uh... I'll just throw that away in uh... adventure maps because you just like as an example you just have a button and uh... a dispenser and oh look example by me and you just have the story there and it could help a lot The final thing that I'm going to be going over is if you're lucky you could get uh, an enchanted diamond or not diamond an enchanted pickaxe with the silk touch enchantment you can see that at the bottom and with this you can now and look how rare this thing is I had to try nine times before this just to get that so with this I don't know if it 
You might have always been able to do this with uh, mycelium. I think that's how it's pronounced. But if you couldn't, you can do it now. And ice, it used to be if you break it, it turns into water. Now, you can break it with silk touch and you get ice. Ice can be helpful for who knows what, but I'm sure people will find a useful thing for it. And wood, or what am I saying wood? But glass panes, you can now get glass panes back from this. This, this used to, or this always works with uh, glass blocks, but now it works with panes. And one thing I forgot to go over, I'm going to switch back into creative mode. With the block switcher, this now works with, uh, with uh, mobs. You just walk up to a mob, middle click, and it'll give you the eggs so you can just spawn one. I'll show you on this pig over here. There's pig. There's sheep and chicken. I did have some some uh some cats over here, but they probably ran away. Oh, let's do a squid. Squid. So, from what I can think of right now, that all of the updates in this new pre-release hopefully I didn't forget anything I probably did but I'll just have to live with it so I hope you like this video please subscribe if you want to see more see ya